we please stop with the misinformation going around right now regarding stillbirths and miscarriages? Because so many influencers and politicians and celebrities are choosing to perpetuate lies about these topics to their female audiences as a means of justifying legalized abortion across the board. There is a difference between an induced abortion and a spontaneous abortion. And medical definitions are very important to be aware of in this conversation. Two years ago, I was pregnant and I found out I had lost the baby and I needed to have a DNC procedure done to remove the baby from me. The doctor came in, he had a tray of tools and forceps and he removed my baby piece by piece and it shattered my entire world. And it was something that needed to happen because my baby was already dead. Performing that same procedure on a living, growing baby is a completely different topic. If you wanna be pro-abortion, fine. If you think it should be allowed until 41 weeks, fine. If you think it is just a little clump of cells and it doesn't really count as a person and it's uh, not that big of a deal, fine, own it. Stop hiding behind women who've been through tragedy and using us as pawns and poster children for your pro-abortion movement. Stop using women who would give anything to save our babies as an excuse to support the hundreds of thousands of babies killed every year in this country by choice. No serious piece of pro-life legislation has ever tried to regulate women whose babies have already died. The pro-life groups will tell you that themselves. It's a manipulative, offensive, factually incorrect comparison, and the abortion industry knows it.